okay on this point this is gonna be um, we're gonna talk about uh, mothers free from stark weather on January 21 1958 stark weather visited Fugat at her home in the Belmont neighborhood of the Lincoln. Not finding her at home, he argued with Fugard's mother and stepfather, Velde and Marion Batley, who told him to stay away from their daughter. Starkweather them fatally shot the Bartlett with his shotgun and proceeded to strongly and fatally stab their two years old daughter Beth Jean. After Fugat arrived at home, he told her of the, his recent actions and they hide the body in various locations behind the house. The couple remained in the house for six days, turning people away with a note written by Fugat, tap, tap, pet to the doors, that read, stay away, everybody is sick with the flu. Velda Butler, Fugat's grandmother, became suspicious and contacted the Lincoln Police Department. When police arrived on January 27, Starkweather and Fugat had fled the house. Starkweather and Fugat drove to the Bennett, Nebraska farm house of the 17 years old August Mayer, a Starkweather family friend, who Starkweather killed with a shotgun blast to the head. As they were fleeing the area, Starkweather and Fuga drove their car and to move and abandoned the vehicle. When Robert Jensen and Carol King, two local teenagers, stopped to give them a ride, Starkweather forced them to drive back to an abandoned storm shelter in Bennett, where both were shot and killed. Starkweather admitted shooting Jensen and Clement Fugat short King. They stole Jensen's car and fled Bennett. The two drove into a wetier section of the Lincoln where they entered the home of industrialist C. Lauer and Clara Ward. Both Clara Ward and Mind Lillian Fancy were fatally stabbed bad. Starkweather later admitted throwing a knife and ward. However, he accused Fugat of afflicting the multiple stab wounds that were found in her body. He also accused Fugat of fatally stabbing Fancy, whose body also had multiple stab Woods. When Laura had turned home that evening, Starkweather shot him. Starkweather and Fugat filed Laura's black 1956 pocket with the stolen jewelry from the house and fled Nebraska. The murders caused an uproar within Lancaster County with all law enforcement agents and the region throw into a house by house 
Search for the Killers. The governor of Nebraska contacted the Nebraska National Guard and the Lincoln Chief of Police called for a block by block search of the city. Frequent sightings of the two were often reported with concomitant charges of incompetence against the Lincoln Police Department for their inability to capture it too. Needing a new car because of the high profile of the park, they found a traveling salesman, Mel Collison, sleep in her his Buick along the highway outside Douglas in Hawaii, Omni. After walking Collison, he was shot with stuck with a good fuga of performance across the grace of the, his shotgun jammed. His stuck with a clammy fuga was the most triggered happen person he had ever met. The seller's car had a push pedal emergency brake which was something new to Starkweather. While attempting to drive away the car stalled, stalled. He tried to restart the engine and a passing motorist stopped to help Starkweather treat him with the rifle and in a fleet altercation ensued. A deputy sheriff arrived at the scene at the moment, at that moment. Fugat ran to him, yelling something to the effect of, It's Stark Weathers, he's going to kill me. Stark Weathers tried to evade the police, a sudden speed of the 100 miles per hour. A, bu a bullet sheltered the windshield and flying glass cut stuck weather. Stuck weather then stopped abruptly and surrendered. Converse country sheriff early health and said he strode the he strode he was blind to death. That's why he stopped that the kind of the yellow son of the bitch he is. Both Stark Weathers and Fugat were captured, captured in Douglas. <laughs>